have to tell you, sometimes with everything going on, it takes comedians and comics and the funny people in our society to jolt us with some truth. There was this recent New Yorker cover that highlights the gap between the tidy Zoom lives we sometimes present, talking on the screen the, to the reality of these stressful and messy real lives outside of that camera screen. And when you think about this, whether it's cartoons that capture the way we live now or political cartoons that so many of us who follow politics rely on for truth, there really may be no more long-lived source for political comedy and insight in the United States than the long-running comic strip Doonesbury. Did you know it's now in its 50th year satirizing the politicians who control parts of our lives, holding the powerful to account with sometimes biting humor? Gary Trudeau becoming the first comic strip artist to ever win a Pulitzer. Did you know that? And his short film, a Doonesbury special, has won prizes at the Cannes Film Festival. It even netted an Oscar nomination. Trudeau first came to many people's attention with his scathing critiques in the Nixon era, but he has kept on going all the way through the recent Trump era, and he's still going strong today. Why am I talking about Gary Trudeau? Well, the good news is I'm talking about him because he's our special guest tonight. Gary Trudeau is here. His new anthology, which we have here, is Dewberry at 50, the complete digital Doonesbury. What a beautiful thing. And also with us, a friend of the show and someone who knows Gary as well, David Korn, Washington Bureau Chief for Mother Jones, a George Polk Award winner in his own right, and the author of three New York Times bestsellers. What I'm saying is both of you guys have done some good work. Thanks for being here. How are you guys doing? Pretty Just good. great. Happy to be back. I'm really happy to have you back, Gary. Uh, I will say in full disclosure, um, there are stressful parts of this job and there's some fun parts and getting to, to meet you <laughs> in the context of interviews is cool because I was a, a kid and a poli sci major reading your cartoons. Um, what are you reflecting on? What are your insights have, have, having this great 50 year run? When you work in syndication, it's just it's just getting through the week. It's like a lot of jobs. Um, and, um, you know, I don't set the bar too high. Uh, I have to set it at good enough because uh, deadline's a deadline. Um, I, I, I would like steady excellence. That would be purely aspirational for me. Um, but I'm, I seem to be temperamentally suited to do uh, my work in a short period of time and move on. And I wanted to ask you about taking that into the Biden era because uh, everyone understands that it may be a good thing for the nation uh, when there's a little less grist for cartoonists and satirists and SNL uh, coming out of the White House. Um, SNL itself has struggled at times to find even a, a, a great way to, uh, to mock Biden. Take a look at just some of the people they've tried out. Hey, notice anything different about me? Grandpa Joe got the glow up. You know, I was Irish man. Younger? Yep. Taller? Sure. Better? Eh. <laughs> it's a spooky time filled with demons and darkness. Also, it's Halloween. <laughs> for some Trump voters, it's the only day they'll wear a mask. It's a problem for all of us comedy professionals. And, uh, <laughs> you know, after five years of, of caricaturing, caricaturing this uh, the Baroque presence of, of uh, uh, Donald Trump, um, you know, this uh, drawing, drawing um, Joe Biden is some of the letdown. I, and I've, I've checked out some of what my colleagues and the editorial cartoonists have been doing. And um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sad to report that that most of them just look like drawings of, of, of an old white guy. And you know that they know because they're they're putting um, uh, labels on him. They're labeling him Biden. You never had to do that with Trump. I'm spoiled by Trump. Uh, it was such fun drawing it. But but I also have, um, you know, a, a long history of simply drawing, of not drawing the president, <laughs> of, of drawing the White House and then having the voices emanate from it. And I may have to go back to that. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here. Or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us and we appreciate that.